I'll explore a few of the features that make NX Cam easier for new users to learn and enhance productivity for experienced users. We're looking at the Operation Navigator. This navigator organizes all of the manufacturing objects. This is the program order view. You can see the program objects here and the operations that exist in each program. They'll post out in the order that's listed, so by dragging and dropping I can change the order of the operations as they come out in the code. There's other information available here. As you look to the right, you'll see the tool that's used for each operation, the tool number, the cycle time, including the total time for the program, the geometry that's in use, and the method. The method is another one of our views here, and a method can contain stock offsets as well as feed rate information. So if I want to change one of my operations from a semi-rough to a rough, I just drag and drop it to the other method, regenerate it, and it will have the new stock offset and feed rate information. Let's go now to the machine tool view, which contains information about all the tools and the pockets that they exist in. So pocket 4 is going to be tool 4. If I want to change this tool to tool 5, I just drag and drop it into the next pocket. NXCAM can be customized to further enhance productivity and ease of use. Here I'll bring up some custom operations that I've created. In this face mill operation, I want to ensure that programmers are using the correct tool for aluminum billet facing. So I've added some text here to the tooltip to make sure it's used for the right size billet. When I click OK, not only does the operation come up, but it brings the face mill into the program from the template library. You'll also see that I've added a picture of the tool in operation to further reduce any chance of confusion. Because all the feeds and speeds are set in the operation, all the programmer has to do is go select a face that he wants to machine, hit the generate button, and the operation will be correctly created for him. NX uses roles to assist new users as they're becoming proficient in the software. A role can limit the number of icons that are shown on the screen. Here in the industry specific roles you see a CAM Advanced and a CAM Express. By selecting CAM Express, larger icons will be presented to the user and only those icons that are really essential for programming are shown. As the user becomes more proficient, they can switch to the advanced role, see smaller icons, but icons that are more specific to more complex programming tasks. Companies can create their own roles for individual jobs that need to be done and the commands that are required to do those jobs.